What's up, what's up you guys? It's Ania Sarai and I am back today with another video for you guys. Today, <clears throat> I want to talk about consistency. And with consistency, I have struggled. <clears throat> Honestly, it's been a struggle for a lot of different reasons. But I would say the main thing that caused me to start to get better at being consistent in things was this question I asked myself. What is one thing you want to be consistent in that you can easily put into your daily routine? And that was my question I asked myself. At this point when I asked myself this question, I was taking my son to school every morning. I was waking up early and I was trying to make sure I got my time with God and got myself ready for the day early before my son woke up so I could have some quiet time. And when I asked myself this question, the one thing that came to mind, because I really wanted to start, to start toning up because I hadn't been able to exercise for so long and I finally could, um, was going to the gym because like really the trail of questions was okay so you're gonna take your son to school every morning what are you gonna wear easiest thing to put on is workout clothes and what's the easiest thing to do in workout clothes work out <laughs> so and that was a goal that was something i wanted to start to be consistent in so i could reach my goals of getting back in shape and so that question triggered my consistency streak that i am still going on with three months later and I'm so proud and um, I think the key to being able to answer this question successfully is to think of your constants what are your constants every day what is one thing you do that you want to change what is one thing that you do every day that does not change so let's say one thing you do every day that you want to change is you wake up and you lay in bed one thing you do every day that is a constant that you can depend on is eventually you have to get up and go to work. So you want to change that you lay in bed for an hour before you get ready for work. What you can't change is you're going to work. So use your constant to fuel the change that you want to be consistent in. So for example, you wake up at eight o'clock every day you lay in bed till nine o'clock and then you get ready for work where you have to be at 10 30 let's just say instead of waking up at eight o'clock and waiting to get out of bed till nine you wake up at eight o'clock you put your feet on the floor when you wake up my tip is don't look at your phone before you get out of bed it can get you stuck in bed get up out of bed go to the bathroom don't touch your phone unless you need to check what time it just tap your screen check what time it is i always have my phone on do not disturb so i cannot see anything yet i can check the time and then go to the bathroom wash my face brush my teeth shower put on my gym clothes fix my hair and by then what 30 minutes have gone by or so and i'm ready for the day so by doing this not only have you started to break a bad habit, you have started to create a new habit by using your constants, the things that you cannot change, the things that are always going to stay the same, like the time you go to work in the morning, to create or implement a new habit that was attached to a goal that you want to start to achieve and be consistent in. Boom. Boom. My goal was I want to go to the gym every day. And now that I had eliminated the obstacle of my son being home all day because I didn't have him in school because it was really hard to find a school. Now that I eliminated not having a car because I had gotten in a car accident when the car was totaled. Um, my dad blessed me with a new car. Like now that all of those bigger obstacles were out of the way and it was down to the little things. What was the easiest thing to do in the morning? Put on workout clothes. You don't have to worry about a whole cute outfit and makeup and all this stuff. Just 
put on some workout clothes, get yourself together, get in the car. Like the main thing is getting him together, making him breakfast, all that stuff, making sure I have my water, like my gym bag ready, my water, my phone charge, my headphones, my lock for my locker. Um, you know, like my workout outfit is on and I take my morning supplements and things that I need in order to be equipped for the gym. But if you're waking up early enough to have time to do all this, it's not stressful. It becomes a part of your routine and then it becomes a habit. And then it becomes something you do so much that you become consistent in it that you don't even realize it's now a part of your daily lifestyle. So... That was the question that triggered me into finding my constants in life that would allow me to implement the new things that I wanted to become consistent in. After that, you can keep on progressing on the things you're consistent in. So I started adding in different workouts I wanted to do at the gym. I met with a trainer to give me tips on ways to increase my results and not just be going to exercise to exercise, but actually see results, see myself toning up, see myself losing weight. Um, I started working on my eating. And like, as you can see, by starting to be consistent in one thing, it's a domino effect to start to be consistent in other things. So I started implementing more workouts. Now I have versatile workouts to do every day. I started going back to Pilates. Now since I was always getting up and going to the gym, it's not hard to get up and go to Pilates. Pilates is down the street from the gym. So on the days I just wanna to go to the Pilates instead, I book a Pilates class and I go to the Pilates class instead of the gym. Or I go to Pilates if it's not that hard of a class and then I go to the gym as well because I wake up so early and I get out so early, like sometimes I have to fix my schedule. Like I might go to a Pilates class at 7.30 a.m. So I'm at the gym still by 8.30 a.m. But when you're already getting up early, you're already in the habit of being at the house by a certain time, like it's a little bit easier. It can still be a challenge, don't get me wrong, but it's a little bit easier to shift things, to add in a little bit more of what you want to do. And also to elaborate on the things you want to do to add to them and continue to progress in those areas to the point where it's leaking over to other areas. And now you're just like on a whole progression in life with being consistent, something that started in one thing. It's a catalyst. Figure out what can be your catalyst to starting to become consistent in everything you do. Now my one tip for this, my next tip, that was the question I asked myself to begin being consistent in something that led to being consistent in a lot of other things. My next tip is figure out what anchors you. Because being consistent is great. Being consistent is amazing. You can start to see changes in your life in every area. Mental, physical, spiritual, financial, all of it. But it can sometimes feel like, especially when you get out of whack. Let's say your kid's sick. Let's say you get sick. Let's say you have extra stuff to do for work. Like You can't always find a way to do everything. And you have to make sure that you still implement time to do the things that will keep you in routine and keep you anchored. Even when things aren't going all the way right, even when you can't do everything on your to-do list, like find the things that can keep you centered, grounded, anchored. So you're not getting anxious or overwhelmed or being pulled in every direction and burnt out like... For example, today I started working on a new goal, but I let that new goal stop me from doing the things that I'm already doing. So like I didn't go to the gym in the morning and I started feeling really anxious because the gym is not just a physical thing for me. It's a mental thing. It really helps get out that extra energy that I need to release because I am the type of person who can get stressed out easily. So the gym is my way of releasing that stress. So that way I'm not overthinking. I'm not getting overwhelmed. I'm not stressed eating. I'm not... um getting emotional getting stuck in my head and like being stopped from doing everything like it's a big shift for me sometimes so when i start to get overwhelmed and all these things and like let's say i can't go to the gym i still need something else in the routine type of sense something else that i know if i do it, it's going to help me for me that's a shower taking a nice hot shower putting on some lavender oil after putting on my um 
diffuser with essential oils that calm my mind, putting on my worship music, creating, creating an ambiance for myself. That is something where if I didn't get my workout in, if my workout at home wasn't doing enough, like if I still feel stressed after so many things, reading the Bible, praying, worshiping, watching a message, writing my thoughts like if I'm still feeling like crazy after all of that like at some point there has to be something that you do that changes it and if nothing changes it then maybe there's something in your mind that's stopping you like your mind just wants you to feel stressed out and it's like you wouldn't think your mind wants you to do that but sometimes <laughs> there's some little thing in your head that is stopping you from just allowing yourself to feel peace being consistent isn't always easy but when you start to become so consistent in things and like it becomes a part of your routine it becomes a part of your lifestyle and then things get out of whack because you're trying to become consistent in a new thing or something new gets implemented into your life you have to go back to what anchors you my main anchor is God so I will center everything around God and do the things that I know will help me to be back in my state of peace and my peace of mind get my energy right take that calming shower i need to make sure i do some stretching some yoga some exercising something every day being active getting out in the sun like there are certain things i have to do every day and if i don't do some of them i'm gonna have to get to it because <laughs> if i don't then i'm just gonna be like torturing myself um but God is an anchor. My nice relaxing ambiance is wherever that is, your your safe place. Like um, create an oasis for yourself. Have a place for you to go to when things just start to feel overwhelming. And this goes into the third thing, which is give yourself grace. Allow yourself to take breaks when needed. Sometimes you need that extra hour of rest. You might have gotten a really hard workout in the day before and your body needs extra recovery time. If you are implementing your schedule right and you are doing things... Like, you will have space for an extra hour of rest. Like, I wake up at 5 a.m. On the days when I need it, I can wake up at 6. On the days where it's really tough or I'm sick or I'm recovering from something, I can wake up at 7. I'm going to be rushing a little bit. I'm probably going to have to re-implement my day some way. I might have to skip, like, reading the Bible in the morning and do it after I go to the gym and stuff. But, like, you can rearrange your day for what is best for your health because you always want to put your body, your physical mental spiritual health first so you have to make sure that you're not being so hard on yourself that you're leading yourself to burn out that you're leading yourself to have more anxiety that you're making the things that you want to be consistent in stressors for you allow it to be something that frees you doesn't constrain you so if you feel like you're getting overwhelmed or you're getting anxious or you're freaking out because you didn't do one thing that you are trying to do every day, like, no, stop. Take a second, reassess the situation, figure out how you can do better the next day and give yourself that grace to get back on track in a way where it's not going to stress you out because stress is not good for the body or the mind, okay? Let's stay in a calming place here as we improve and progress in life. So those are my three things. And those three things have really helped me to come a long way. It's not easy. It's still hard. I still have days where I'm super anxious like today because things just don't go right. But you have to have control over your mind it can sometimes take a lot of stuff to get to that point where you finally feel calmer and like you can function but you gotta do what you need to do to get there you have to prioritize yourself so figure out what's one thing you can easily implement into your schedule that you want to be consistent and that'll help you reach a new goal you want to attain and then Make sure that you have your anchors, your safe places, the things that you do that will help keep you anchored. Not to start to feel like all your goals and everything are overwhelming you and, and taking over your life and stressing you out. Like you have to make sure you're doing it in a way, implementing all these things so that it is beneficial and not a weight on your shoulders. And three, we're not perfect. We mess up, we make mistakes, we forget. We have good and bad days, we're human. It's okay to give yourself grace. Just don't let those grace turn into excuses. And hopefully from these tips, you can start to see yourself be more consistent 
and you can go from being someone who didn't wake up on time, didn't make your bed up every morning, didn't make it to work on time, wasn't exercising, wasn't eating right, to someone who is slowly starting to improve whatever your weak areas are in your life, one small baby step at a time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you wanna let me know what's something you want to be more consistent in, I may be able to help you, but if anything, I will make sure to read the comments and be in agreement with you that like you will be able to start working on that thing. So we're all in this together consistency is not easy some is easier for than others but i am wishing you the best and i hope this helps you thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys next time